Hi guys and ladies, I found this recipe online for grilled chicken pinwheels. It looked delectable and as I stared at the photo of the chopped chicken, I thought, why not fresh fish? So here we go. We're on a mission to catch fish bacon ranch pinwheels. doesn't matter much which species of fish we use in the recipe. So let's start out for bass. Using this boar hogs from Z-Man. We can make changes along the way, but check out the notes below to read all about the equipment, the fish, the lake, everything. Let's go fishing. <laughs> Let's see. Ten and a half inches. We're supposed to remove this size from the lake. Anything under 12 inches, really. This is called culling. Whoa. Oh, so little. Just as I thought there's bass near those lily pads that are way out from the shore. <laughs> but look at the size. Oh dear. Over 10 inches. So we're going to remove him from the lake. He's big enough to eat. And we have to get rid of these small bass. Oh, oh I got one. I went at the boat. <sighs> Too big. That's a nice one. I think he's too big though. 14 inches, nice fish. But I have to release him over 12 inches. We preserve them in this place, opposite of your public lakes. Nice one. Ah. Oh, they're good today. Oh, they're too big to eat though. You want to preserve these. We have to return this one. Look at how nice. Just shy of 15 inches. <sighs> Perfect. He scrambled after that. Yeah, that's that's the kind we need to remove. See, it's it's under 12, I think. <laughs> 11 and 3 quarters. Just right. Keep it tight. Dreadfully small. Just over 10 inches, so I need to remove this. Uh, wow! Hey, nice healthy fish, finally. It's too big to eat though. I have to release him. Chubby girl is 14 inches. I've got to return her. Oh, right under the boat! Oh, deep water! Right under the boat. Perfect eater. Eleven and a half. Hoo-hoo. Perfect. Yes. All right. Let's see what it measures. Almost ten and a half inches. Fish, bacon, ranch, pinwheels. Well, we'll see. 
I want to show you a little trick. I've got a scale here and I've got three pounds of bass right now. If you're just an average filleter, you ought to get one third the weight in fillets as you do on the stringer. So that means I have at least a pound of fish fillets. If you're real good, you could get 40%. Isn't that clever? So the bottom line is that I have six little bass and that should give us at least a pound of fillets. So let's get back in the house and fillet these guys. Yesterday the bass were biting well enough on the boar hogs lure that we were able to get a pound and a quarter of these nice little fillets in short order. Look how well they came out. Let's get right into this recipe. I've got a whole pound of bacon going here and I want to make it really crispy. This is part one of what I think is a really easy recipe. I think I have our bacon crispy enough and now I'm going to take it out and when it cools I'll crumble it up. Hang on. They're coming out. I don't want to set off the fire alarms. It's starting to smoke. But look what I'm going to do. I'm not going to waste this bacon grease. I'm going to put our fillets in there. I'm going to cook these two minutes on side one and one and a half minutes on side two and they're done. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper and just put them aside. It's been two minutes. I'm going to flip. A little more salt and pepper, one and a half minutes more. I'm taking them out. Oh, crispy bacon. Let's just break it up. Oh, I love crispy bacon. What happened to the pound of bacon? Look at it, it reduced to so little. I'm gonna do sort of the same thing with the fish. Look at this, flaked fish. How easy was this? Yes. This is all new to me. I've never done anything like this, but here goes. I'm going to put the fish in the big bowl. I've got a whole package of uh, cream cheese, softened cream cheese. Look at that. I've got over a cup of taco cheese, shredded. Now, our whole pound of bacon, which doesn't resemble a pound. Let's stir this as best we can. I'll be done by next Sunday. Hidden Valley Ranch salad dressing and seasoning mix. I'm going to use a half package. Now I'm going to try to mix that in. I wish it were wetter. It's kind of dry. Just for fun, I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of sour cream. Make it a little wetter. Well, this part makes me the most nervous. Now you notice this is oval shaped. It's called a flat out and they're very low in carbs. You're supposed to make a thin layer. I probably made it too thick already. Well, here goes. I'm going to try to roll it up tightly. Not too tightly, otherwise the tortilla will rip. Seam side down. Keep seam side down. Get down there. really fuzzy about this. What I'm trying to do is cut these into like one inch pinwheels. But they're soft, sort of. I'm going to eat one. Mmm. Oh, you really taste the bacon. And the fish? Well, I don't know. It, I would say it's like chicken. Really. And the creaminess. Oh, it's so rich. Ri you know that rich taste? Oh, these are good. Winners, winners. My question though, is should I warm them a little bit? They're good the way they are. I mean, really good. Oh, we'll see. Oh, these are so good. They may not look beautiful, but they're so delicious. I'm going to put these in the oven just on low, low warm for a few minutes while our pinwheels are keeping warm in the oven. I should let you all know the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is on her way over for dinner this evening. Well, you know, you already know we've been seeing each other for 
over 50 years, she seems reluctant to even mention marriage. There might be something holding her back and I need to get to the bottom of it. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for joining me for dinner tonight in my uh, moldy mobile home. And uh, you had a chance to indulge in my fish bacon ranch pinwheels. And what did you think of them? Oh, they were very delicious. And of course, you know, everything blended well. And of course, you know, I love bacon, so uh, as I've never said before. Yes, you've never said that, yes. It's good to know, though. I like them, too. Miss Cheeks, oh, I, I think we've known each other long enough that I may yes. address you as uh, Lulu. Yes. Oh, thank you. Um, I know you've been hearing bad things about me around town. Yeah, I've heard a lot. Really? Uh, like what? Uh, that you're a perfect idiot. Uh, I hope you defended me. I did. I told them no one is perfect. Huh? Oh. Can I have a hug? Uh -huh.